Okay, well, I started attending uh, St. Mary's Church, I think, in 2005. My good friend Robert uh, suggested that I come along one Sunday. And uh, I think I kept going. And uh, not every Sunday, but uh, on a regular basis. And I think when in 2008, when the first letter arrived, um, I, was, uh, I was captivated and I picked up my camera and just started filming on, on the weekends. And um, at the time, as Trish was saying, I was already busy making my other film. In fact, I was about to travel overseas. And, um, and I just started telling that I need to follow the story. And uh, I guess I continued following the story and uh, uh, got Farmers involved, Annie Holden, and uh, started talking to the ABC. Um, and and uh, then Veronica came on board to, um, to help me get the project funded. And uh, it just grew organically, basically. And, uh, because I was a member of the community, I, you know, I was I was in there inside, and I felt you know, there's a story to follow, and uh, you know I grew to grew very fond of Peter and the community in the process, and, and it became an important film to make. But it was a difficult film to make at the time because I was, uh, you know, as I said before, I was making another film, so it's not usual that you kind of make two films at the same time, is it, Varanka? <laughs> so Varanka was right behind me, basically pushing the broadcasters and the investors and getting the money on the table and uh, that's how we did it. It was a, it's a long process and, yeah. Veronica, did you want to speak? I just want to say, I've been a, a colleague of Peter for many years. Um, it was a wonderful opportunity to get to work with such a fabulous filmmaker and what attracted me to the project was not only his wonderful access, but, you know, he's just wonderful storytelling. Um, talents. Um, so um, it's been an honour to be involved. Thank you.